Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. I hope you guys are all doing really well. In today's video, I want to focus on the functionality of the multiplexer block more than any specific tones. And I'm going to show you one very cool application of this, which essentially lets you create a kind of master modulation block. It's been requested for a while to have all the chorus, flanger, and phaser effects in one block. Uh, it's kind of incompatible with the Axe FX architecture for various reasons, but we can use the multiplexer to get around this. So before we get going, I'm using the Atomica High model. This Les Paul has P90s in it on the bridge pickup. Sounds like this. <laughs> I think there's a bit of plate reverb on there and I'm probably using a cap with greenbacks. Okay, first, let's do this. We're gonna select a chorus block. We're gonna select a flanger block. It's not too important which effect type at the moment. It's all down to personal taste. This is kind of just more to demonstrate how you would set up this functionality and a phaser block. So I'm gonna connect these in parallel, which seems a little bit odd, I understand. And we're gonna leave them all engaged. But the trick is, that we leave this shunt down here so that we can pass dry signal if we want. I'm gonna put a multiplexer block right here. So the multiplexer block, essentially, you can connect as many connections as you like to it, and then it is just gonna select one of them from that selection. So at the moment, on channel A of the multiplexer, it's selecting row one. And there's nothing coming from row one. So let's set that to row six because that's where there is actual signal coming in. And at the moment, this is gonna bypass the phase of the flanger and the chorus and just select this dry shunt. We get this. Which you would expect. Okay, and here is the trick coming up. I'm gonna to go to channel B on the multiplexer and this one is gonna select row three, which is the chorus. Channel C, I'm gonna have as row four, which is my flanger. And let's see, I want the phaser, that's on row five. So let's go to channel D on the multiplexer and I've got row five. You can see how you could use this, for example, if you were swapping between different instruments during a gig, you could set up the multiplexer to say, have input one, two, three, four, you know, two different guitars, a bass and an acoustic guitar, if that's what you needed. And you could select between each of them and route them through the same rig. You can also use it for amp switching. But in this case, we've got it set up to basically select between a chorus, a flanger, a phaser, or the dry signal. And I've got those mapped to channel. So what I can do is using a per preset FC in this case, I'm gonna select the multiplexer as my effect. And I'm gonna have it so that I can simply increment the channels. So it'll go from channel A to B to C to D and then back to A. And I'm gonna assign that on my FC controller, uh, just basically anywhere you like. I've got it on this perform tab. So if we look at the multiplexer, what I can do with a foot switch down here is I can select between channel, uh, let's start with channel A. This is gonna be my dry sound. And then I can just go from the chorus to the flanger to the phaser. And I can have this on any scene I like. I don't have to save separate scenes for these effects, which is very cool because that way I could be playing and go, you know what? I want flanger instead of chorus and then immediately change to it. And you could extend this approach to basically anything. You could have various boosts in there. You could have like a wah and a formant and a filter block all set up to the same expression pedal. It's very handy if you're managing, you know, various uh, user controlled parameters or modifiers like with an expression pedal or external pedals. And you just basically want to go, you know what? I just want a type of boost or I want a type of modulation. I definitely don't want chorus and phaser at the same time it's one or the other, or I want a filter block and I want a drive block, but not at the same time. You can kind of use this setup with the multiplexer uh, to basically now this and the multiplexer kind of acts as a, like a bigger category 
of effect. So you can have multiple things in there, or you, know, you could have delays and multi-delays and all that kind of stuff. So there is a lot of scope for experimentation and kind of, uh, you know, customizing your own presets this way. I really, really like the multiplexer in the uh, latest generation of Fractal products. And hopefully this kind of sheds a teeny weeny little bit of light on how you can use it in your presets and in your rig. As always, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have requests for more videos, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.